guys, today I'm going to show you how you can cut a face bead using the Stanley number 45. We're going to be using a beading bit. That gets installed in the 45, the same as the other blades. We adjust the cutter so that it just pokes out below the sole on the plane. Next we install the sliding section, which we slide up to offer support on the other side of the beading cutter, and it should be flush with the edge of the cutter. Next we set the forward depth stop, and that should be set so that it lines up with the top of the curve in the beading cutter. It's not strictly necessary because you'll notice when you've completed your bead because the flat surface on the top of the bead as it's forming will suddenly disappear. To bead on the face of a board you need to set a batten to guide the plane. We don't use the fence in this case, we simply run either the main stock sole or the sliding section sole up against the batten. Try to keep the plane vertical throughout the cut. And make sure you keep the plane pressed up close to the guide. When the bead is fully formed, the depth stop will prevent the plane from cutting any deeper. Face beading using the 45, a piece of cake. Cheerio!